Greetings folks, in this video we're going to be having a look at a couple of new bits of kit from Radio Master. It is the RP4TD, the first True Diversity Express LRS receiver uh, produced by Radio Master and the UART Flasher for flashing Express LRS. I would normally use Wi-Fi mode myself for flashing but uh, if that's not going to work for you or for other reasons uh, this little USB flashing tool might be very useful. So let's have a look at the RP4TD. In the packet we get some cables, uh, a little a manual card and a firmware card, you have QR code so you can get onto them. We get three nice little sleeves of heat shrink and here is a little RP4TD receiver. We have newly designed antennas, uh, sort of more rigid antennas, reasonably short. It is true receiver diversity, having two receiver chains, uh, as well as two temperature controlled crystal oscillators to keep the frequency nice and exact. We have the ground 5 volts TX and RX pads down the side there and extra RX and TX pads over the side little boot button there it features two times 100 milliwatts telemetry output it's pre-installed with Express LRS version 3.3.0 and the firmware target to look for is Radio Master RP4TD 2400RX so this is Radio Master's top of the range Express LRS diversity receiver now giving the most stable frequency and the longest range because of the dual receiver architecture. Now let's have a quick look at the Radio Master website. Uh, have a look at the price there and that's in US dollars $24.99. Have a look at some of the specs. It is Gemini mode compatible being a dual receiver diversity, true diversity. Dual temperature con compensated crystal oscillators, 2 times 100 milliwatt RF telemetry power. Weight 1.4 grams without antennas. These things are absolutely tiny. And dimensions, they are 16.3 and by 23.7 with a 65 millimetre antenna length. And now I'll have a look at the UART flasher, the USB UART flasher. There's the USB dongle. You can switch the voltage between 3.3 and 5 volts. And we have a variety of methods of connecting to the UART. We have the standard four pins there. Uh, negative, positive, RX and TX. Then we have this little cable here. Four receivers that can accept that particular cable. Uh, and we have this cable here that plugs into the four pins like that. Then we have individual sockets that we can plug these things into. Then we have this little plunger style connector which is brilliant. That can be used to do a temporary connection or a momentary connection like that by pushing down. Very useful little unit that one and these wonderful little clamp connectors I love these things I've been looking for them for for ages so they are a little spring clamp that when you push it out the little clamp comes out and it hooks on to whatever you're trying to connect to that's going to be very useful for lots of different reasons so that's a very useful little collection of connectors for all different methods of update, updating firmware via USB and UART the way I've got the RP4TD wired up, I can plug that straight into the four pins on the end, push the boot button, then connect to your computer, and open up the ELRS configurator. Choose the firmware that you want, click UART, flash, and let it do its stuff, and it works straight away.
And with the ER8, I can plug in the dedicated little CRSF cable. Once again, pushing the boot button and then connecting up to the computer and follow the same procedure. Choose the target. Choose UART. And click flash. The link they provide for the USB driver is uh, an EXE file, so it's not going to work on my Mac, but um, I already had the right drivers on the Mac anyway. And it's all good. It's a more reliable method than flashing via Wi Fi. Uh, wi Fi works most of the time, but uh, sometimes there's sort of connectivity issues. Um, so, yeah, if you want to make sure you're flashing correctly, then this is the way to do it. No,